Hello, my name is Scott for SB Gaming. We're back here in American Truck Simulator. We're currently on a delivery in progress, so let's get back to it. And let's put the cruise control on. And we are going to need to turn right here. turn left here and there we go truck whoa all right let's turn left coming into Fresno downtown Squaw Valley we are going to need to take a left eventually I believe This is not quite an interstate. It's kind of like a high speed bypass into the heart of Fresno. We have 11 hours, 19 minutes remaining, 433 miles. $491 from Wilma and actually I'm going to put the cruise control on just because and we are coming up to our turn off alright it's remaining 55 that's good I'm going to want to check it uh, slow down yeah, we're coming up to traffic lights. And take a left. Let's slow down and get in the right lane. Slow down even more. Right there. Put the cruise control on. And we have the bitumen right there. Yeah, I still have to unlock that little bit of road there. back out. Let's get up to 30. You know, I wouldn't mind having a speed limiter on my truck that prevented me from going faster than the speed limit. <laughs> that uh, would be nice. Just an assist. So if you're driving along and not realizing it and you go above 30, the, the truck will prevent you from actually accelerating past that. Not necessarily a cruise control type of thing, but just a, you know, something that, yeah. Although it would be nice to be able to toggle it on or off just in the event that you do want to speed.
but yeah, one of the things I found with this game is you really don't want to speed much. You don't even want to try. Just because, you know, there could be a cop anywhere and uh, they could be right behind me right now and I wouldn't even know it. Which would be really, really frustrating. So we're going to have to take a left. And we got an airport right here. You know, they could do so much more with a map. Make a whole lot more areas of uh, places where you could drop off things. Although I have a feeling they might be looking to the mod community to fill in the gaps. I really hope not. <laughs> one of the things that, uh, on the one hand, Bethesda is really great at uh, the ability of enabling, a, making it really easy for people to mod things. On the other hand, it could very well make them very lazy <laughs> when it comes to um, their own games themselves. Skyrim was highly moddable and the modders were able to do so much that I have a feeling they looked at Fallout and although they did look to improve Fallout, oh, there's another $226 from Wilma F. Not a whole lot. She's probably doing some really, really short deliveries. They saw modders as a way for you know them to slack off. It's like yeah, let's not uh, bother doing X, Y, and Z because, you know, modders will take care of it and, yeah. Why should we spend the time doing all this stuff when modders will just take care of it, so, yeah. Anyway, our estimated time of arrival will be 7 o'clock in the evening, 334 miles to go, 8 hours 40 minutes remaining. And we have $33,000 in the bank. You know what? Before I spend... Yeah, before I pay another loan payment on this, I am going to... Uh, how much am I going to need? I, how much am I going to need? I have thirty-three thousand thirty-five dollars. I'm going to take two ten thousand dollar loans, and then I'm going to repay this uh, fifty thousand dollar loan. So now I have five thousand four hundred and seventeen dollars. And once I'm done this delivery, which is worth 15900 oh wow, <laughs> oh jeez, um, I might have only like $400, yeah, $400 left in the bank if I pay off those two $10,000 loans, yeah, about that. Anyway, let's put the map back on. And just sit back and relax. We're still in California. We are getting very close to the border, so that's nice. And then the rest of the way is going to be Nevada. Next rest stop in three hours, 19 minutes. We still have 122 gallons in our tank. So, yeah, we sh no problem. 580 miles left on this tank, is that it? So, yeah, we'll have about 200 miles left on the tank before we have to fill up. When we get to our destination, before we have to fill up. So, yeah, we are definitely going to have to fill up eventually. It's just inevitable. 
And I think it is just around this corner that we head into Nevada. Looking forward to it. Oh yes, indeed. Right there. Let's accelerate into Nevada. 70 miles per hour. back on one of our propane deliveries something we've done a lot of in past episodes some of our really early episodes since uh, we did focus on getting the ADR training and they've just been making us a lot of money If I can manage to do a lot of these ADR jobs, that's because it does look like they're going to pay me a lot. Um, yeah, I'm going to be able to pay off my loans pretty quickly, ramp up my fleet, which will be really, really nice. And I have new mail. Let me guess, the bank wants to give me... <laughs> that was coincidentally related to the uh, loan payment going out. Your count is overdrawn. Oh. oh. Withdrew more money from your account than was available. We have provided you with short-term credit. Oh. Um. Really? How much did they? Okay, okay, never mind. I have a negative bank balance. All right about that. So yeah, they didn't add a loan to my... Uh... All right, we're now heading left. No, we're now heading right. And there's a rest stop there, but we don't need a rest right away. And what I'm going to do, I'm not going to stop to get gas, but I am going to hop in here to discover that. We're going to keep on going. So we have a way station here with gas. Nothing else until we get back out onto Highway 15. Hmm. Five hours, 55 minutes remaining. Next rest stop in an hour and 50 minutes. Um, yep, I'm going to want to rest there. So, yeah, I'm pulling over. Anyway. pulling over regardless 216 miles to go 5 hours 36 minutes estimated time of arrival will be 6.15 in the evening but that's not going to be quite true because of course we need to stop and take a rest And we enter a divided highway, which ramps up to 80 miles per hour. Nice. Yeah, we're, we're getting off here. I'm not going to even try to push it to... Uh... You know what? I just might do... Oh, never mind. I was going to get gas, but uh... yeah, about that. 
Yes, I am. Uh, we are going to go around. To this side. And I'm doing this side. I'm doing this properly. Last time I stopped at one of these rest stops. Went in the wrong way. Oh, that's annoying. Anyway, let's stop the engine and take a rest. And Yuri Dumbo, you made us a thousand dollars, and Wilma made us one hundred and ninety. So we are now back in the. Uh, oh, seriously. Those look like they are flexible tubes. They're not solid objects. They should bend if you hit them. It's a little bit annoying. I'm assuming they don't do any damage to your truck. Oh, that's unfortunate. I have to go over there and discover that side as well. That is annoying. Because it means I'm going to have to come back this way again. Well, yeah, I'm going to eventually, but... Uh... ETA, 4.51 in the morning. 178 miles to go. Remains. Oh. Oh, bother. Yeah, things are going to be tight. Three hours, 47 minutes. We could be late on this. We just need to speed up. Although with that said, we are in Nevada, so, you know, we're gonna be driving a whole lot faster, hopefully. We are only on 60 miles per hour. There we go, 34 miles per hour. And since the game calculates at 38 miles per hour, we're definitely going to get there sooner than it's actually telling us we are. So yeah, there should be no problem there. I just need a straight stretch. And apparently we got new messages. Email. Overdraft settled. Your account overdraft has been settled. We are happy to help you in the future if you ever need our services. Well, thank you, bank. <laughs> uh, how much uh, did we uh, go in, in the negatives? Like, was it 130 something dollars? 300 dollars? Yeah, that's a no problem. And apparently, city limit of something. Oh, seriously? No, I need to make up time. I can't be slowed down to 65. It better not be 60. It better not be because of Las Vegas. There's nothing here. Oh. Oh. All right. And apparently we are leaving nowhere there is no town here <laughs> we just reduced the speed limits because reasons anyway and now we're back down to 65 because of Las Vegas yeah I better slow down 2 hours 39 minutes Ooh, it'll be really tight. No! Seriously! Thank you, traffic. Fortunately, I did not hear the collision. 
Wow, I have 9% damage on the truck. Two hours, 22 minutes remaining. We'll have 20 minutes before we need to take our next rest break. Of course, if we are late on this delivery, it's our own fault. <laughs> I think this is an important delivery. Let's speed up. 62, 63 miles per hour, 64. Yep. Customer expects delivery soon. We're going to get there in time. And thank you for the music. One hour, 48 minutes. Yep, one hour, 20 minutes. No problem. And we are leaving Las Vegas, 80 miles per hour. We have 23 miles to go, 35 minutes remaining, and oh yeah, one hour, 15 minutes remains, half an hour if that remains, so <laughs> take that delivery, we're going to make it, no problem at all, we're on our nice 80 mile an hour highway. Though we are going to want to slow down because of this truck. Let's slow down a little bit more. He's driving about, what, 60, 65? And we are going to need to exit right all right so we could gas up over there oh nice oh bother let's uh That is where we're dropping the cargo off. <laughs> uh, all right. Truck stop. I'm going to stop here, grab some gas, fuel up, two gas fuel ups in one episode, well, one delivery. <laughs> and 142 gallons, $388. So, the delivery is right here. There is only one option, which is a straight through. This is probably not going to be worth very much. And, who bother? Oh. And 
and the cargo is ready for unloading. Propane delivered from Stockton to Prim. Driven distance 617 miles. Time taken 24 hours 32 minutes. Fuel consumed 129.6 gallons. We filled up before the delivery, we filled up after delivery. Oh yes, indeed. Anyway, for a total of $15,918,839 experience. We are now level 10. We are a workhorse. We have 12,544 experience and we'll need 14,200 experience to get to the next level. So with that said, let's hop out of here and take another skill point. I think I want to do rank three of long distance. Yes, indeed. I think there is no reason to go to rank four or rank five. The furthest you can travel is, uh, I think, less than 1600 miles. So there is no point to do anything more because you're not going to get anything more. But uh, yeah, it is time to do third rank in long distance. This will allow us to deliver up to 1000 miles, which should hopefully unlock a number of new deliveries because, you know, places like uh, going to Pioche or Homebrook, it's entirely possible I haven't been getting deliveries going there because the places which create the cargo to go there is too far on our current long distance skill. So I'm going to take the third rank in long distance and then after this, I might take in a few more ranks of hazardous. I might go high value and fragile just to increase the amount of money we're making. But for now, we are going to go third rank in long distance. And now what I'm going to do is pop right here. And what I just might do because of reasons, here's a question freight market. Coming from Prim. Hmm. It's only worth $13,000 though. Um, Oxnard to Reading. I'm not going to get there in time though. Stockton to Oxnard. Urgent delivery. <laughs> 33 27 per mile. But you know what? I do like this one. I will get to the chems. Yep, I've wanted to get here either from a delivery or you know, pick one up, which is good. I just might hop over here to get my truck repaired, but they'll probably just do that off screen. Anyway, at this point, we are going to take a break here. The episode ran just a little bit over an hour, so I'll definitely be splitting up into two episodes. Other than that, we have $16,000 in the bank. You know what? I'm definitely going to pay off one of these just so I'm not spending that much in interest. But uh, we don't have enough to pay this one off. That was kind of what I was hoping, but I didn't take into account loan payment would happen. So yeah, about that. We're gonna have to take that $13,000 job and then make the money to pay this off and then go from there. We paid 10% off of our loan, seven days out of 70. We still have $359 left to pay on this uh, loan. We can borrow up to $130,000. So if we wanted to, we could look at buying another truck. Do we have the space for it? Of course we do. We have the space for one more truck and then I think about upgrading either this garage or buying another garage because I don't want to upgrade this garage. It'll cost me $180,000 just to get this extra two slots. That's annoying. That's annoying. I, for the same price, you can buy a new garage. Really? SDS, fix this? Or at least for the starting garage, 
pay us uh, or only charge us hundred thousand dollars because otherwise you know this you can upgrade this garage for an extra hundred thousand dollars you get two slots here for this garage you know you get the two slots hundred thousand dollars no problem there why not come on come on <laughs> anyway at this point I'm going to take a break here and then we'll continue off with more American Truck Simulator in the next episode. Anyway, thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching. My name is Scott for SB Gaming. And as always, have a good day.